Hello everyone. Peace be with you. Welcome and thank you for joining us to yet another exciting episode of Walking with Jesus. Hope these episodes are helping us to build our faith and draw us more closer to Jesus. My dear friends, today I want to share with you on a very beautiful passage of the Bible that talks about friendship. There are many verses in the Bible about friendship, but this one is found in the Gospel of Luke chapter 5, verse 18 to 19. It tells us a beautiful story about friends bringing a friend in need to Jesus. And this account of story can also be found in the Gospel of Mark chapter 2, verse 1 to 12. Let me read a small passage from Gospel of Luke chapter 5, verse 18 for you. It is said some men came carrying a paralytic on a mat and tried to take him into the house to lay him before Jesus. These friends had gone to an extraordinary lens and even heights to bring their paralyzed friends to Jesus. My dear friends, this passage tells us the tremendous faith and the efforts these friends took to carry their paralytic friend right above the roof and to bring him in front of Jesus. This passage, this act has always inspired me, my dear friends, to always pray to the Lord to increase my faith in Him always. And also to believe that something is good in store for each one of us. And it also helps me to realize, my dear friends, that how important it is for me to share Jesus to others. My dear friends, Jesus recognized their actions as an expression of their faith. And because of their faith, he told the paralyzed, Men, your sins are forgiven. This is a very important lesson for us. This man was not only physically, but spiritually healed by the faith of his friends in Jesus. And there are many instances in the Bible, if you read, my dear friends, where one person is healed because of the faith of another person. And what times we are in, my dear friends, troubled times, times of depression, times where we need each other. During this lockdown, what an opportunity we have to uh, build our relationship in Jesus and at the same time also to share Jesus to others. Because deep, deep down in our hearts, we know that it is only Jesus who can heal us, heal us physically, spiritually, in mind, body and soul. My dear friends, I would like to thank each one of you for participating in the Walk in Jesus episodes by sharing your reflection, your thoughts, your favorite scripture verse, sharing your poems. I believe that God has blessed each one of us as his talent, with his talents and skills. And what a privilege is giving us during these times to bring many of them to him. And like today, my dear friends, like four friends, let's have this tremendous faith in Jesus and also believe that something is still in good, something good is still in store for each one of us. Let's remember this passage from John chapter 15, verse 15, that says that Jesus has no longer called us as slaved, slaves, but he has called us as his friends. Thank you and God bless. The Feast of the Pentecost, the great feast of the church, the birthday of the church, let us thank the Lord for choosing us, for calling us out by our names and for sending the Holy Spirit on us. Even as we sing the song, let us invite the Holy Spirit. As we gather in this place today, Holy Spirit, come and have your way. give our lives to the Holy Spirit. Since we lay aside our own desires, 
sweep across our hearts with holy fires. Have your way. This is your house, your home. We welcome you, Lord, we welcome you. This is your house, your home. We welcome you today. Let us give our families, our communities, our prayer group, and our church. Let us give, let us offer as a living sacrifice to the Holy Spirit. And let him say, have your way. Have your way. Let him be glorified. Be glorified in everything we do. Be glorified in everything we say. Have your way. Let us give ourselves. This is your house. Your home. We welcome you. Lord, we welcome you. This is your house. Your home. We welcome you today. As we are aware of the presence of the Holy Spirit. Let us thank Him. Let us thank the Lord for all that He is doing in our lives. He has called us and He wants to do great things in our lives. And let us thank the Holy Spirit. Let us give thanks with a grateful heart. Let us be like that one leper who came to give thanks to the Lord. He prostrated he prostrate before the Lord, thanking him for what the Lord had done in his life. Unlike the nine, let us be like that one leper with hearts filled with gratitude to thank our Lord. Let us thank the Lord in whatever circumstances we are at this moment. Let us with hearts full with gratitude thank our Lord. And let us sing. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us. And now, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor see I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks. Let us give thanks for our family. Let us give thanks for the prayer group. Let us give thanks. For all those who have shared their lives in the walk with Jesus, let us thank for every blessing in our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Glory be to your name, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus Christ is Son. And now, and now, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us. Truly, Lord, we want to thank you and praise you, Lord, for all the good that you have done and you are doing and you are continuing to do in our lives, Lord. For all the good that is in store in our lives, Lord Jesus. Thank you, O Lord Jesus, for making us new each day to the power of your Holy Spirit, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making us a miracle, O Lord. Thank you for your word in our lives, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to your name, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Let our lives continue to thank and praise the Lord. Amen.